Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern Blog. So, happy anniversary. What am I referring to? Well, look at your screen. City State of the Invincible Overlord by Bob Lutzel and Bill Owen, initially. But this was a project being run by... Uh, Dare I say it? Judges Guild. And hey, I thought it was going to be a great project. I was really psyched about it. And 10 years ago today, funding ended. Like This is the 10th anniversary of the funding of the $85,130. You know, getting stamped, getting finalized, and getting paid out less processing fees and Kickstarter fee um, to Judges Guild. And here we are 10 years later and we still have absolutely nothing, nothing fulfilled by the Kickstarter. So, well, I mean, I'm sure the Judges Guild is on top of this, right? I'm sure that they're they're plugging away, they're giving updates, they're letting us know everything that's going on with the company. Well, let's see. So it's the Invincible Overlord funded, uh-huh. Uh, going to be the first published fantasy RPG city setting back Sitting back in the presses for Judges Guild Universal. By the way, a, a horrible, horrible faux system. And the Pathfinder role-playing game system. Which, by the way, we are how many years into Pathfinder 2 now? <clears throat> but let's, let's go to the last update. There were 112 updates on this project. It was updating a lot. Stormy weather, but pushing forward. Judges Guild, May 11th. Looking at my watch, today is May 23rd, 2020. Oh, that's right, 2024. So it's been four years, four years since we've gotten an update on this project. So let's hear what the last update was. Backers and friends, I still, I hope we still have some, as Help from other sources never seemed to come forth as promised. You shouldn't need other sources to finish your project. The going is slow, but I have not given up. You've also not updated in four years, but hey. Progress is being made and print funds are still being raised. This is largely due to our new website store and new book, Badabascar. Financed by son Aaron Bledsaw, who was granting 50% of the proceeds from the site to the CSIO Kickstarter print fund. By the way, we don't even have PDFs. I don't, I don't Actually, at this point, I don't even know. Maybe there were PDFs. I don't think there were. There might have been PDFs. I, I know Rob Conley was involved with the maps, but... uh. I, I, you haven't raised the funds in four years. Also, additional material is still going into the CSIO from Bob Bledsoe's own material. Oh, so there's more. It's just for, you know, when you're getting more material, it's going to take maybe another decade. If you see how Beta Baskar has expanded from 30 to 70 pages, the material used is much of the same, which has added an additional 30 plus pages. To CSIO. <clears throat> okay, wow. Material is Bob Senior's unfinished draft material, edited, of course. Those of you who would like to see samples of the expanded streets can email me, and I will drop a large street, text only, for you to see. Maps, interior, and artwork is, always, is also being polished and cleaned by Aaron Bledsoe. I wish you all to know that I am not squandering any cash here, nor have I used any Judges Guild cash for my own purposes 
since 2015, and this is 2020. So uh, if that continues, and there's almost a decade of not using uh, any, any, any Judges Guild funds for Bob Jr.'s uh, own purposes. I had a cardiac incident in 2018 and have not sought treatment. Well, that sucks. My sole vehicle quit on me in 2018, so I did not have it repaired. I need eye surgery, but rather than have it, I did not renew my driver's license the same year. I have not driven in two years. Also, in 2018, the furnace in my home quit. It, too, has not been repaired, and in 2019, my water heater stopped lighting. So, no, I am not spending the cash for anything here until this project is fulfilled. Folks, we're four years down the line from when we heard about how Bob's life sucks. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the latest update is because we don't have one. So uh, this is me being honest about my situation. I do have a modest living. And anyone who doubts this can ask my immediate family. I tell you all this because I am in your debt and you should know how I do thereby. I was asked to address allegations that I'm a racist. I am not. Or from an anti-Semite. Again, I am not. Anyone who sees the posts they selected for that narrative ignored the many other posts made to the contrary. I, I'm just trying to parse that, and I'm just going to skip over that. There are many reasons to rake me over the coals. I understand that, but anyone who knows me or with eyes to see can be judged. Just because I criticize Jest or Lampoon does not mean I am any of the things I am being labeled as. If all you see are those selected posts and ignore those posts that were liked by others, you will be angry. Give me the space you afford Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks is genius. I, I, I don't see the comparison. <clears throat> and Mel Brooks is funny as hell, but all right. And they will run with that quote also. I just, I just don't see the relevance, but okay. As it is, I run the guild as my father instructed me, non-political, non-biased. So years back, when the LGBTQ asked us to openly endorse them as other companies openly did, I refused. And maybe that marked the guild in the modern climate. It had nothing to do with my personal position. In fact, I posted that we make games for everyone why I choose sides in an issue like that. You know, it's been four years. I didn't realize that all this was in the update. So I guess that was not enough, and I was informed in 2016 that the guild was labeled an orange business. That's the orange list. It's a whole other thing. Jeez, oh, don't even get me started. Because uh, there's a whole, like, I don't know, receipt for a bottle of Pepsi at Walmart. That, that's a whole other story. Meaning a pro-Trump pox. I tried to inform people I did not support Trump, but as my personal wall showed... Post critical of the left, some just assumed I was a liar. I did make insensitive posts, but a search of my wall shows she has that everyone, preachers, popes, musicians, politicians, and Trump. In 2014, I created a photo album on Facebook singing the praise of my favorite blues musicians. Many are black, and yet they would rather see me as Hitler for a few critical posts. As I said, all those posts were liked by someone. So we are talking taste. I can accept that I am in bad taste sometimes. Again, I ramble. I'd like update more of uh, more was to tell. If you reread this, you will see how the guild is doing. For the last ten years, other companies have made money on the guild, but that has changed. Our sales are up on the new book, and Aaron has others soon to be released when he has the capital to print. I hope you all do give those books a chance. Reviews have been very good so far. And that is encouraging to me as to how you would like the city state as it draws from the same Bob Senior draft material. The fact that it's being well received and reordered tells me that using as the filler was the right move. 
I do believe you'll be happy with the words. Please remember to update your addresses. This will get done. Again, this is the last update over four years ago. Some of the minis are yet to go out. If you wish them sent prior to the book, send me your address along with the backer number, and I will send them an order of request. Otherwise, they will be mailed along with the printed book and mats. Four years later, folks. Makes it seem like it's coming soon. We're four years later, no updates. Also, any other issues I can help with, feel free to ask. I will help as I can. My health is not the greatest now. But if you consider the sacrifices I have confided to you above, you will know my heart is still in this project. And seeing it through, all the polish will show. Sincerely, Bob Bledsaw the second. So, folks, here's a little, and, and I, I don't even know. I guess if you send Bob a message through Kickstarter, I don't know. <clears throat> I hear he is giving refunds as money allows. I hear he is actually paying interest on these refunds. Again, as money allows. I've even heard so much that in this one case, he's refunded money twice. I don't know how that works, but um, so that is the update. The last update. That is the status. Oh, wow. All right, folks. On that note, there will be a live stream tomorrow night. Joe Block, the Great Hawk Ragnar, will be our guest, Mike and I. It should be a good one. Eh, it always is a good one, but it should be a lot of fun. All right, folks. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. I'll catch you all tomorrow on the live. Be good. Later.